we have a former lawmaker, Senator Mao Uhwabungwa, who's joining us in the studio. Thank you so much for joining us on Welcome uh, to News Night, Night tonight. Good. My pleasure to uh, be here. I'm sure it's congratulations to all the lawmakers and of course, I mean, you've been part of that yes. uh, family. Yeah. Um, help us understand, I mean, what with Akwabio getting 63 votes and Yari uh, 46, well fought, you know, well, well contested uh, won. Yeah. Um, what are your expectations from the Akwabio Senate? Yes, well, first and foremost, let me congratulate the uh, members of the 10th uh, Senate uh, for making it to the Senate and uh, above all congratulating them for showing uh, leadership today. Mm. What happened on the floor of the Senate today was a really victory for democracy. Uh, like it's been said, I know, luckily I've worked with most of them. I'm an almoners of the National Assembly, mm. haven't been in the House, then moved from the House to the Senate. So I think I know the workings right. and also will be able to advise and, uh, and uh, talk about the caliber of persons who should be able to lead the house. And I have no doubt in my mind that electing somebody of uh, the caliber of uh, Ababio mm -hmm. is the right thing to do. I'm not of the APC, I'm of PDP. Mm -hmm. So I was, I'm not talking from the point of whether the presidency or the party nominated him. But looking at the, all those who contested, you find out that Ababio definitely turns out to be the best. Uh, well, I'll let you land on that definitely. Okay. But the point you just made now, yeah, is yeah. it's something that's put a question mark on the credibility of this uh, legislature. I mean, people are saying this is an executive-induced, uh, you know, leadership of the leg legislature. Yeah, first and foremost, I believe in the independence of the legislature. Mm -hmm. But don't forget that the legislature, the executive and the judiciary, their functions are complementary. Right. But all I'm saying is that whether the um, executive or the party nominated those they expected to carry the day. Mm. But the point is that amongst all the members of PDP that contest, um, sorry, APC that contested, it's very clear that there is none really to be compared with uh, Ababio. Let's take the two that contested. Mm. They were governors before. Right. Okay, if you look at the performance, look at their scorecard, you will know that Ababio performed exceptionally well. Two, Ababio was in the Senate. Go and check the hand sites, go and check the other paper, go and check the proceedings of the House. Ababio was in the Senate, um, um, <coughs> Yari was in the House of uh, Representatives. You could see the difference. The difference for me is very, very clear. And you remember, well, not on your program, when I appeared on uh, uh, channels, uh, to, uh, is it the uh, politics today? Mm -hmm. I told them, look, what is important is the integrity of the legislature. So for you to bring out the leader, the presiding officer, you must bring a man of integrity. You must bring a man of character. You must bring a man that has the sagacity and the ability to pilot the affairs of the House, of the Senate, because you're going to be the primus inter pares first amongst equal. Mm -hmm. One, you're going to be the face of Nigeria at the interparliamentary conferences, whether at the international level, at the sub-regional level, that is like uh, Africa, mm -hmm. or in a uh, regional level, or the ECOWAS. Yeah. I was privileged too to be a leader at the ECOWAS parliament. I was the leader in the House of Reps before Senate, and I was also leader at the ECOWAS parliament. So for me, I need the best for Nigeria. And um, amongst those that contested, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned, Ababio was actually the best, and I think he's cut out for this job. The only thing is like, the only news now, like, Mm -hmm. the, your correspondent mm -hmm. said a lot is being expected you okay. know from him and I, I want to see how he will uh, pilot the affairs of the Senate. Right, right. we appreciate your insight uh, 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 and we, we acknowledge the fact that your opinion supports the fact that uh, uh, Senator Gosol Pabio is uh, the best choice. Yeah. Anyway, after a tedious process, yes. it's a good thing we now have the presiding officers. Yes. Anyway, what should the senators be looking out for in, in setting an agenda under the leadership of Senator Gosola Pabio? Yeah, first and foremost, they have to correct this perception. Don't mm. forget that the immediate past, uh, the night assembly right. was being tagged or looked at as, as um, uh, 
what do you call rubber it? Stamp. Rubber stamp. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have to change that narrative. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you should be at conflict or in conflict with the executive, but you have a function to checkmate the executive. Mm -hmm. You have to make laws that will be to the benefit of Nigerians, but above all, they must strengthen their oversight function because mm -hmm. that's where the problem is. You have the power of the purse. You uh, appropriate the budget, but unfortunately, the, 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 from what we have seen, oversight function had become like an opportunity to settle the boys or whatever. I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm using mm. the wrong word. I want the Senate on that Obota, but to be very, very serious and serious in their oversight function, their responsibility. If you have appropriated fund, ensure that that fund is used for the benefit of Nigerian Nigerians. And when you go for your oversight function, there is no point cutting corners. You must be very, very serious. As regards lawmaking, I don't have any doubts with what they were going to do because from what they have said in their mm. third agenda or third program, mm -hmm. they have outlined some of the laws that they were going to amend that will benefit us like the tax law, the VAT law, and all that. These are laws that are more or less obsolete or requires immediate uh, amendment for the benefit of the... Even the, right. the Electoral Act, which mm -hmm. were applauded, but from, from practice, with what happened in 2020, you could see there are still some lacuna, and you need to uh, fill them up. And those the are gap. some of yes. the laws you, you think the, this 10th Assembly should be addressing. What about uh, one issue that has continued to be on the front burner of national discourse, the issue of wastage and big government? How do you think that this National Assembly can actually uh, come up with the laws you know, to, to check it. Because, mm. look, we heard from this president, yes. uh, President Bola Tinubu, that Nigerians will have to do a lot of sacrifices yes. or make a lot of sacrifices. Yes. Would expect that, not only from the lawmakers, yes. but, of course, from government as yes. a you whole. See, I will also advise the lawmakers not to be intimidated. Because, you see, this, this approach of saying uh, the no Nigerian lawmakers are being paid so-so-and-so -so too much or that, let them not come from that perspective. Because throw your doors open. Throw the papers open. I've told, not because I'm not there today, so I'm not defending them, but I'm saying what it is. When you see the papers, you will know that there is nothing untoward. There is nothing that is exceptionally different from what happens everywhere, even in the ministries. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying, from, coming from that perspective, they should look at wastages. So much wastages. Mm -hmm. Look at our every year, you talk about appropriation. The same thing, repeat. Uh, you repeat the same uh, uh, lines, the same subhead. Mm -hmm. You buy uh, 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 papers every day, you buy computers every day, you buy laptops every day. It's, it's not possible. You should begin to channel our resources to where it will be meaningful to the entire country. And I think with what is happening with the removal of the subsidy now, which ends by the end of this month, yeah. let's deploy the savings and let people see it. And it has to start with this 10th assembly because we have had trillions and all that or billions every month. Let's thanks it by 12. Let's bring it in, deploy it if it's to education, if it's to health and whatever. Even for employment because we have problem of unemployment. Yeah, so if you so. can deploy that to a particular <coughs> area and say, look, this money is for employment. Not to go and dash people 5,000. How many people will it give? Set up if it's an industry, if whatever you're going to set up that will accommodate Senator, the teaming pop. Uh, your, 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 your yes. passion is contagious, I must say. Thank yeah. you. Uh, but then as we wrap this up, yes. uh, the, the proclamation of the 10th Assembly was um, slated for 10 in the morning. Yeah. However, it was started at 8, yes. two hours difference. Yes. Who would be responsible for this? Well, you know, they say once beaten twice uh, shy, and there's an adage in my place. Once you're beaten by snake, once you see anything that looks like, uh, even when you see this rope or cord, <laughs> you begin. So I think with, with, with the tension, you know, this 10th assembly, for me, this is something that I thought, I think that wasn't necessary. Because the campaign took way out beyond normal. You see on the streets, you see billboards, you see uh, signposts. You see, what, the, the, the election is not, for, it's not a national election. Mm -hmm. right. If you have anything to say, meet your... Colleague. Colleagues and talk to them, but this one was something else. So the tension was high. So and coupled with the fact that there are people who actually didn't want to tow the party 
lie. lie. So they didn't want, from my own understanding, a repeat of 2015. Don't you think the announcement, was the announcement publicly by the APC, I mean, it could have handled this, you know, this interest of the leadership of the National Assembly within the party. Why was it not able well, to do that? Well, there are party and woman idiosyncrasies. Right. So people have their different modus of operandi. Mm. I, I don't need to advise APC the best way to go. If that is the way they want to go, fine. The only thing, the luck they have from my own point is that amongst all, and I will say it anywhere, right. and if it's possible to ask even you press people to interview them or assess them, Akbabio is still the best. We'll live it there. Yes. Thank you very still much. The best. Yes. Mao Uhuabungwa for joining Thank you. us. My pleasure to be here. Yes.